Welcome back. We watched the Falcon and Winter Soldier finale tonight. This is our first triple. It's not a whole lot to yeah. like synopsis why yeah, the last episode ended with Carly and the Flag Smashers attacking the GRC like council meeting, whatever. So they attack that and Falcon and crew stop them. It's not that hard to say, but this is like probably the best episode. Because we get like the most action. We actually get to see Falcon and Buggy both like doing their thing mm -hmm. a whole lot in this episode. And I don't know. It was a really good finale. Very like Captain America ish, I guess, really. Is what it... <laughs> this one felt more like a movie mm -hmm. cut into episodes, whereas Wild Division was very episodic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially the beginning. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, spoiler warning from here on out. Because. Just because. So, this one opens up, and it's like with Carly, right? She's like telling the people. Mm -hmm. She's pretty much like, it's going down tonight, and like. Right off the bat, you get the Falcon and Winter Soldier like, title. And then we get a couple of, like, shots from far away of Sam. I know! They, 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 they tease yeah. you a good bit before you actually get to see what it looks yeah. like. They, they show, like, the pan out of the city, and you see him go... And then, whew, you also got Bucky showing up to help, and him talking to Sam a little bit before we see Sam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm guessing he called Bucky and was like, hey... Yeah, because, I mean, Bucky did tell him, that, like, it's like, hey, as soon as you know when, where and when she's going to be... Let me know when I'll be there. Bucky, he runs into Sharon pretty rough. Right, right there, mm -hmm. kind of, real fast. And yeah, she's got one of those. She's got the Black Widow from, yeah. Black, from uh, yeah, yeah. Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Yeah. The Black Widow used, yeah. That was kind of yeah. neat. She says she's there to help clear her name. Mm -hmm. She said that sounds like a pretty, like, pretty good idea. Roger that is when we finally get to see the Falcon suit. He busts through. That was so cool. Throws uh, the shield in and then. Throws the shield in. Rolls yeah, in with the good, wings. Good entrance. It stands up and you just get to see the whole thing. You're like, oh. yeah. It's so amazing. Pretty much every time they showed the suit, I got excited. And like the way he'd used the shield with the wings and stuff, it mm -hmm. was cool. Like the time they shot at him and he used the shield and then covered the rest of them up with the wings, mm -hmm. that was dope. The Flag Smasher's plan is pretty much kill the people in charge. They like take hostages during the blackout, I'm guessing. Yeah. So like. Well, they like they attack the summit and then. Everyone gets evacuated. Well, I think I think it was just like a, a normal evacuation plan for them to like go down and the police like take them off in their like armored vans, but they like took over them essentially. Mm -hmm. So I think that I think they were trying to use them as hostages to just negotiate, and then if it went bad, they were just gonna kill them. And it went bad, so they it were gonna bad. they were gonna just kill them. Carly and Bucky end up in the streets fighting, and mm -hmm. then. Then we hear, uh, what's his face? White Russell yell something. And he like, shows up with his little... He's got his fake <laughs> shield. Yes. Tin can shield. And, I mean, he does, he does some okay work with it, but yeah. it gets it gets beat up gets pretty bad. It was kind of cool that like, he put the his like metal of honor on the inside. Yeah, so, so he, like, he could look it. at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was cool. What did she say? She said, I didn't mean to kill your friend. I didn't mean to kill people that didn't matter. Or something yeah. Like mm. Dang, man. Sets him off more. Yeah. While that's going on. It's like the whole helicopter thing with Sam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Bucky's like, look, man, flying's your thing. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> you got wings. Get up there. And then we get to see the comeback of Red Wing, which was cool. Uh, I assume it's Wakanda tech now. Yeah. So, Probably. gotta be better. Probably. I can really like, get a good picture, you know, color. Was he still red and white? Or was he like red, white, and blue? I assume he's still just like red and white, but I don't, I can't I don't really know. tell. It's all dark. It's at night, so yeah, it's kind of hard to tell yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's pretty neat, but he can do it, and he's just like, Hey Redwin, does anyone in that anyone in that helicopter know how to fly? Just, she just goes and like scans, scans all their faces, and is like, mm -hmm. ah, this lady, she knows how to fly. We were talking about that earlier, just the helicopter scene where they plant it, and Falcon just goes straight through the helicopter, takes the guy out, and then she gets in it. And also the way Redwing pulls the guy out <laughs> was really cool. I guess is that when they split up, they like, go trying to find the Flag Smashers, they all get split up. Bucky goes with. With John Walker, Walker at this yeah. point, and Sam and Carly are having a fight, but he's like refusing to fight her, kind of. He's kind of just defending himself. He's basically just defending himself. Yeah. The whole time. She was yelling, "Fight me!" Wasn't she at one point? Yeah. Like, just 
fight. And he's back basically and... just blocking and yeah. like knocking her away a couple times, but yeah, that, that's a short fight. And then later on, like in the yeah. like underground, they have the like main fight. Yeah, and yeah. right before that is when Sharon. And... Yeah, and yeah. Sharon got Carly. shot. And then at the end of their of Falcon and Carly's fight, they or I should say Cap's fight. Yeah. And they start getting. I can mean, usually say that now. Cap. Yeah, we're gonna get used to that. He's, now. he's Cap now. They say that a couple times. Yeah, they call him Cap. They call him Cap a couple times. So. so when Carly and Sharon are talking, we find out that Sharon is the power broker, mm-hmm. which we called pretty pretty early on. I feel mm-hmm. like, but it's also like we don't really know what her like ultimate goals are. No, like it's unclear. Yeah, like she could be like undercover. In whatever I guess. She's doing. I guess so. <laughs> or, or it could not be her. It could actually be a scroll. Yeah. Well, yeah. And Bat Truck figures out that she's the power broker, and he just, he said something to her. They were trying to. He was, oh, he person. wanted her to. He wanted her to pay him more. Yeah. Four times. Four times because he's like, hey, otherwise I'll tell everyone who you are, and that'll be bad. And she's like, I'm gonna do blackmail, and she kills him, but then she gets shot. Yeah. So I, at least no. I think he died. I don't know if it was like. Yeah. I don't know if they like you know show the body. You know, with a you know gunshot in the head or something, but yeah, they never I'm really pretty sure he's they dead. never track. But yeah, we get all the hostages in the van that's falling off the thing. We we're like, oh, this is like Shazam, because like Bucky was down there. <laughs> that's what it looked like. <laughs> I thought Bucky was going to like catch it. Yeah, I really thought, what I really thought was going to happen is when it, when it was actually like about to start falling, and and him, and Walker. him and Walker down there. I thought they were going to be like, you ready? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're, I kind of thought we were going to have to like catch it together, and I was, was, was going to be a great moment. But then instead, it's well, and before that, before it actually falls. Walker like sees it falling or about to fall, and he sees Carly getting away. Yeah, and he's and like, so comes to yeah, and he's like looking, he's like, oh crap. Yeah, and he makes the right choice. He showed up and he did nothing but help the whole time. That's true. But Bucky and Walker aren't the ones who catch it. Falcon catches it. Captain America, Captain America, America catches it. America catches. <laughs> I mean, he uses that jetpack a lot. Like, mm-hmm. he uses it for his punches and stuff, which yeah, he uses it for like a boost. Strength. Yeah, and he's also got little jets like on his feet, to mm-hmm. help him like, like plan his feet push real off. good. Yeah, push off and stuff. So That's some really sick stuff, mm-hmm. honestly. And he also uses like in one of the fights, he uses wings. He like buried him in the ground to like keep his mm-hmm. stance. Th- Sharon shoots Carly. Yeah, Carly actually gets shot right. after at the end of her and Falcon's like fight, and she dies in his arms. Yeah, that was tough, man. He carries the body out, and there's, like, news media, like, so much news paparazzi yeah. around him. And the GRC people. And the GRC, and he just kind of tells them off. Mm-hmm. He just kind of tells them the way it is. Yeah. Like, I don't really, like, know how to get into all that. He just laid it out for them. Pretty much said, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Like, to the government. To the government. <laughs> <laughs> and we also get to see that um, Isaiah, Isaiah Bradley watching. was watching it all happen and being like, the rest of the super soldiers got caught and they were all getting like shipped off to the raft is where they were headed and like the van they all get loaded into just explodes oh, yeah. and it pulls away to show that it was Zemo's butler yeah he just kind of smirks just like ha, got him and then, then it cuts then it cuts to Zemo and at the raft like hearing it on the radio that they all got killed and he like and goes back to goes back to laying in bed like Worked out. <laughs> yeah. So I guess then we see Bucky go back to where is it? I don't, I don't know if it ever says. Hmm. Well, he goes back and he tells the old man that he killed his son. That was tough. Yeah. To the his therapist lady, like gives him the book with all the names crossed yeah. out. He said, "I finished the book. <laughs> I finished it." Card with "Thank you for all your help." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the brother stuff. He yeah. goes back to him. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, talks to him, and then like have a reconciliation too I mean, like, like hey I think you're right did all the good stuff but then he's also like, he's like still crouchy yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then he like, hey, takes him check this out takes him to the Smithsonian and now there's a new exhibit all about his part and it is even a statue the whole, whole like saga of the super soldier stuff and a statue and it detailing all the stuff that happened with it so everyone's gonna know his contribution to the whole thing yeah which is really awesome mm-hmm. Like, so I, you know, I've been tearing up again. <laughs> like, I've almost teared up like almost every time that guy's on the screen, it seems like. He's a really good actor. Yeah, he, he, he sells it so well. He sells it, man. Yeah, then probably it's the stuff with, uh, with uh, uh, Julia Louis Travis. She's there, she's sitting there with John Walker's, Walker's wife. wife, and they're like, what's taking him so long? And he finally comes out, 
and he's wearing it's the same costume, but now it's but all black. in black. <laughs> so it's the proper U.S. agent costume now. Yeah, she even named, she even says she's like, we're not Captain America. We don't need Captain America now. We need a U.S. agent. And he seems really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Based on this episode, especially, like he's still like he's a good person. Yeah, he's a good guy. I think he's gonna be doing at least. He's, at least he thinks he's gonna be doing yeah. good stuff. That's I think thing. he's probably gonna yeah. be um, being manipulated. Not not aware of the full yeah. scope of stuff. Yeah, he might follow orders a little too well. Yeah, yeah, probably. So, but I imagine he'll be either part of like the Thunderbolts or uh, whatever team good. they end up putting together. That's like kind of off the books government thing, kind of like Suicide Squad. Yeah, like, yeah it'll be like a, the next Avengers movie. It'll be like. Like the Avengers like versus team. the Thunderbolts, yeah, or like, something. That'd be kind of cool. To see be. the Avengers take on a team instead of just one big threat. Mm-hmm. That'd, be cool. that'd be cool. That'd be cool. So then we come back to Louisiana. Yeah. yeah. And we get to see Bucky playing with Sarah's <laughs> playing, boys. With, playing with the kids and also flirting with her some more. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, that's and exactly. Him just having, it's nice seeing him just, like, genuinely just having yeah, just a good time. Lay low, yeah. It's like, he's just sitting there with his arm out and the kids are just, like, playing on it. <laughs> it's, it's good stuff. And, Get our title card at the end. Oh yes, Captain America and the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Oh, so pretty. And even like during the credits this time, when it still goes to Anthony Mackie, it's, it's got a picture the, of him in the, suit. in the cap suit now. Oh, so mm. Good stuff. So good. Man. Oh, and then the post credit scene. Post credit scene. Post-credit scene. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Sharon Carter. Oh yeah. Is yeah. at the like, uh, I guess it's just like, like a government like hearing or something. Yeah. It's similar to what happened, what happened to Walker when Walker got brought in for like a court martial or whatever it was they did. But them like, hey, we're sorry for you know kind of screwing you over, so we're give, offering a full pardon and you can have your old job back. And she's like, oh, thank you so much, honored to accept it and everything. Then she walks out like immediately's on the phones like, getting good secrets to sell you. Yeah, she's still dirty. They called they called her Agent Carter too. Mm-hmm. They're her back name. Agent Carter. Yeah, or something like that. Carter. Yeah, the Carter name's always been always been like you know synonymous with. Uh, Service. Service. Yeah. 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 In our three predictions for who she was on the phone with was Kingpin, the Mandarin. Who was the third person? So oh, it's possible. I said the I said the Hydra lady. I said she maybe she oh, yeah, yeah. Could, oh be yeah, yeah. Could be her. Could be her. Speaking of, you said they announced Captain America 4. He said, yep, they did announce Captain America 4. So freaking excited. By the same, like, the guy that's like the showrunner or the, the main, like, creative guy from this movie is also going to be doing the next movie. Imagine the movie we'll probably see. That's where Agent Carter is going to come back, most likely. I imagine, like, we're seeing Torres is probably mm-hmm. going to be back in that movie, too. Yeah, w- was he in this episode at all? Mm-mm. I don't think so. Yeah, Sam think left him the wings last time was like, keep him. So that's definitely that's set definitely up for later back. On. I kind of expected them to go back to that at some point, but, you know, they'll do it later. They would. They definitely will. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to see him say Avengers Assemble. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'd be great. And it was less than an hour long. Come on, yeah. guys. Yeah. Lame. Really expected y'all to at least give us an hour, but yeah. you know, I guess we'll forgive you since it was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that includes our review breakdown for the Falcon and Winter Soldier finale. So you can check out our other ones. There's tons of them. There's a playlist you can check out. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.